Hi, for this video, what I want to do is just show you how to find the maximum of a quadratic function. Um, the function that we have is f of x equals negative x squared plus 6x minus 2. And the way that I know that it's going to be a maximum is because there is a negative in front of x squared, which tells me that my quadratic function will open downward. So that yields a maximum point on our graph. Um, what I'm going to do is show you how to use Desmos graphing calculator to do this. So I just went to desmos.com and you can pull up the graphing calculator. They have a lot of really cool features. And what you're going to do is you're just going to type it in. You don't have to type in the y equals or the f of x equals. Um, you would just type in the negative x and squared. plus 6x minus 2. And so you can see that we have um, a graph shown, and it's kind of off of my screen, but there is a um, zoom out feature right here where we can zoom to be able to see this. And all you have to do is hover over the important point, and that tells you where the maximum is. So we can see that the turning point is at 3.7. So our maximum would be 7 when x is 3. So let me go ahead and write that down. So we would have a max of 7 when x equals 3. Using Desmos is very, very easy to find any of your important points. Like if I go back here really quickly, we could also see that we have an intercept at 0 0.3540. Um, and we have another solution at 5.646. And we have a y-intercept at 0, negative 2. So this gives you your x-intercepts, your y-intercepts, and any turning points very easily. You don't have to do any lower bounds and upper bounds like you do in the graphing calculators. So with this, again, most of the time when they're asking for the maximum, they're looking for the highest point, which is just the y-coordinate. And then you, a lot of times, will report when your x-value is a certain number. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions or there are any other topics that you would like me to cover, um, please make sure to let me know. Also, if you would consider subscribing, I would really appreciate it. Thank you.